I don't play many multiplayer games, but when a multiplayer game comes out and it looks fun, sometimes these games really captivate me. With so many single player experiences in my backlog and simply just the games I prefer to play, there was a game announced a few years ago with one of the most charming aesthetics I've seen for a video game, which is Party Animals. This game won me over with its adorable graphics and characters where we play as anthropomorphic animals and beat the ever living crap out of each other. Let's talk about this wacky game. Party Animals has got to be one of the cutest games I've ever played. The animals are all designed wonderfully and each character has a sense of style whether it's their default look or their stylized costumes. As we go through the maps and their unique designs we can party on submarines, remote vistas, airplanes, factories, all fighting through each game location and fighting to be the best team standing. Party Animals has a bunch Bunch of microtransactions. However, I found that all of my access to the costumes and other cosmetics that I wanted were easily obtainable by just playing the game. At the time of this recording, I have been playing the Summer Battle Pass of the current season, and the unlocks have been generous with a number of costumes and new content unlocks available to routine players. There are three game types that are present in Party Animals as of this recording. Quick Play is a single map over a series of numerous rounds, then you also have Smash, which is my personal favorite. It's six games on different maps with stackable abilities that you can choose every round. And last but not least, there is a great Mario Kart clone called Nemo Kart named after the main mascot in Party Animals, which is one map and three laps. The latter two modes have kept me coming back almost daily as I've been so accustomed to log in every day and chip away at the Summer Battle Pass. I don't have much to say negatively about Party Animals. I don't even think the microtransactions are really that big of a deal. However, some days when I play this game, the hits don't always feel like they are connecting. I'm not sure if this is a planned feature, but I've had nights where I was wrecking shop with hits hitting left and right and I was doing awesome and then there were some nights where I felt like I was doing nothing. Perhaps it was my build in the smash game type or maybe it was just my lack of skill in that day but it was noticed a few times throughout the last couple weeks or so that I've been playing party animals. I will also say I really wish there was a local co-op mode. I think being able to play this game with my girlfriend or some family members would be a blast a split screen mode where you can just act as a player two or a second team member and rec shop online with a local co-op buddy. I think that would be so much fun and I really wish that was added in Party Animals. That is probably my biggest disappointment about this game and the main reason why I didn't purchase it right away. In conclusion, Party Animals is a game I'm so happy to play. I actually planned out a review a year or so ago, but I've never gotten around to it until now, which I personally think is for the better. The early days of Party Animals were so limited on game modes, but still the addition of Smash and Nemo Kart recently adds an outstanding balance to changing game modes and chipping away at trying to get to the next costume for your favorite character. I enjoy Party Animals and its aesthetic keeps me returning the most. I love animals and the art style is just so wonderful. I love seeing the animals dressed in hilariously diverse and distinctive costumes. Party Animals isn't anything grand, but for what it does, it does very well. I've had so many laughs over playing this game, and I'm excited to see what's in store for the future of Party Animals. And that's it for this episode today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Party Animals is a great game. I bought this game about a year and change ago. Like I said in the video, I want to go ahead and make a review for it, but I'm so happy I waited until now with the free season passes, the new game modes, Nemo Kart is a great alternative for a refreshment between the either Smash game mode or the classic game mode. Everything in this game you can get via playing the game. There is microtransactions, but you can go ahead and get all of it just by playing the game and saving. And I don't think I spent a dollar 
on this game outside of the original purchase of this game. And I really do enjoy Party Animals. I played a lot on my Steam Deck. I think it is a great Steam Deck game. And it's perfect to play in between watching television shows or something. Or if I'm watching wrestling on a Monday night, I can go ahead and play a bunch of Party Animals. Just get one hour in of, crazy, of craziness and then go ahead and chip away at that awesome season pass. So I really enjoy party animals. Please let me know in the comments down below if you play party animals or if you are interested in this game. But as always, my name is Brandon and I will see you all next time.